10.7 volts. That's not very good for my office lead acid batteries. Uh, what's causing that, I wonder? Okay, I see. It's this wire that was just trapped under that bolt and it's just broken basically, fallen off. So I need the proper uh, ring terminals and some sleeving on there to take the strain. Now this is the copper coated aluminium wire which has an enormous resistance and I've decided to switch it for this which is two cores, I'm not sure if that will show up, but it's two cores of solid copper wire, they're quite thin but it's going to be a lot better than the CCA wire. So I've run that up here, across here and um, across ultimately to the left of my three big Trojan solar power wall batteries. So that's this new wire here which is this solid core more rigid copper. The other wire that goes over to those batteries is one of these. Right now I've got to join these two together, uh, trim them down up there somewhere and I'm going to join them with this because it's under cover it should be fine I've got my meter because it's quite difficult to tell on these wires which is neg neg is the one with the little molded stripe on the side I can feel it there but I don't want to make a mistake otherwise I'll get 24 volts across here and the wire will get quite warm and uh, after making connection yeah that's immediately better 11 volts and that should be going up I'll keep an eye on it and a couple of days later, that looks pretty good, 12.1 there, and yes, it's 12.16. I think that's a result.